Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I keep getting requested by a couple of people to make a video comparing Rec and Cheesy Q toners to Goldwell Colorants toners and some of my favorite go-tos. So I just went to Salon Centric. I spent over almost $400 and I only got a few things, but I'm gonna quickly go over those with you, show you what I got and give you some tips and tricks on some go-to toners and formulas from Goldwell and Reckon and go over when I use what. If this is something you wanna learn and you're curious about, then keep watching. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm quickly going to show you guys what I got for all the money I spent. I got three Goldwell Permanent Colors. Their line Top Chic is my favorite go-to now. I used to love Joyco. Um, I still do sometimes, but I love these for great coverage. And the thing I love about Top Chic is they have all the colors you need in that one line. There's not one line for great coverage, one for regular neutrals, none of that. It's everything you need in Top Chic. So I picked up three NN, five NN, six NN. I love the NNs and that's usually the only time I'll use a permanent color is if the client has gray and we agreed that's the move we wanna make and they don't wanna do baby lights and try to blend it out. If it's too harsh, we will do the permanent color or if they wanna stay dark or something like that or if they request it, but usually I don't really get people requesting it after I explain to them how hard it is to get out. But if somebody is like a level three and they want to remain level three forever, 3NN is the way to go. All right, so I got these three. This right here is like 40 bucks. I picked up some Olaplex because a client wants number three, four, and five. So I got a seven, which is the oil, a three, which is the treatment at home, a five, which is conditioner, another conditioner, number four, which is shampoo, a number six, which is a leave-in, and a number three, which is another treatment. I like to have a couple of these on hand. These aren't the ones I use on my clients. I get the big ones, but these are good to have in case the client wants to purchase them. And I'm pretty bare. I literally have just one, as you can see in the right corner of me, just one of the shampoo poo so it's good to have just a couple and I'll get more the next time I go back as you can see it's still bare <laughs> All right, so you guys know I love Goldwell lately. When people ask me all the time if I could pick one line and use everything across the board, I always say I couldn't because I like using different things for different things. I love Retcon Shades EQ's Demi Permanence for toning. I love Goldwell for some root toners, also for toning, um, some low lights. I love Joy Co Luma Shine liquids for root toning back in the day. Like there's just so many different things, but if I had to choose one line, I like their Demi, their Permanent, their Lightener, and stick specifically in that product, it would be Goldwell. So I'm running low, I have like one left. So I purchased one of the OxyCure. These two pounds, I go through them pretty quickly. This is a bleach I've been using for about a year and a half. And then I picked up another one of these. I always have two to three of these at a time. This is the dedicated lotion developer that goes with the Goldwell Colorant's Demi Permanent line. With that being said, I have seven of these I picked up. Now they have the cans and they also have the tubes. The cans with the Colorant's are the biggest size is four ounces ounces and the tubes which are the same size as this are two ounces these are like 11 12 dollars this is the permanent line though the demi is the blue one and they have this as well and they also have the cans for the permanent the cans for the permanent are eight ounces and they're like 40 45 bucks and they're about that big for one of them so these colorants come in four maximum ounces so i'm going to go over some of the go-to colors so i love level sevens and tens for goldwell colorants so I got 10N, 10B, 10P, 7N, 10BS, 7NA, and 10B. So my go-tos for Goldwell Colorants are only a few colors. I don't really use the whole entire line. I only use them for certain situations as well. So for my level sevens that I love using with Goldwell Colorants, I love 7M, 7G. Those are what I use for my low light. That is the low light I use on all my level 10 blondes that you guys love that looks so natural and it doesn't look too dark, but it's dark enough. It's a 7N with a little bit of 7G. For my favorite ever root shadow for my blondes, and my favorite one that covers so well, it covers very great, is Goldwell Colorant 7N, 7NA. I like that when it's a natural level 7 client. It blends so beautifully. Even if it's somebody who's darker, it works so well. And I noticed that the Colorants has a little bit better staying power and a lot better coverage. It's not as translucent as Shades EQ. It's more opaque. So that's the only three colors I use with level 7. So 7N, 7G, 
7.99. And then for my level 10s. Now, Shazy Q a while back didn't have anything above a level 9. They had no 10s at all whatsoever. Now I think we're up to like 6 or 7. But last year, a little bit earlier than that, they didn't have any level 10s. We would have to use 9s and dilute it with clear solution or just you know leave it on for a minute or have Olaplex treatment on so it doesn't take as quickly you had to really watch them now they have level 10s and I love them too there's a place and time for them but I love Goldwell level 10s you guys there's four or five number 10s I love so I love 10B which is 10 violet 10P 10BS 10N 10G so that's five colors for every single white blonde that you need so these are some of my favorite formulas so somebody who wants that bright white that's not too ashy, not too warm at all, but nice and cool and just across the board white, just white blonde. I like going with 10B, 10P. Now if somebody likes it really ashy and they want more of a lot more coolness into that white blonde, I will add 10B, 10P, 10BS. If somebody wants more of like a buttery, beautiful, creamy blonde, I'll use 10P, 10N. If somebody like wants a really nice warm blonde, and you gotta remember you can't put cool tones on everybody so people who are warm undertoned and they wouldn't look good with ash 10 n 10 g it's enough neutral in there to counteract the g so it doesn't go too gold but a little bit of g always makes it really beautiful so 10 n 10 g 10 p 10 b 10 b s and level sevens i like 7 n 7 g 7 n a so that's what eight colors i use in goldwell color on and those are exactly what I use them for. Retcon Shades EQ is what I use about 90% of the time. I love it because it comes out so easy when you're kicking through the next session. If you did a root shadow or a low light, you need to kick through it. Or even if somebody wants an all over color. My little thing for Retcon Shades EQ is when I'm using it for a low light and all over color or something like that, I like using 10 volume. It allows it to stick in the hair a little bit better and give it a little bit more longevity. The processing solution I love using when I'm doing an all over toner. So yeah, I hope this kind of breaks down a little bit of what I love and what I don't. Colorants, I'm not crazy with it. Actually, I do want to dive a little bit more into the color line. But for now, those are my eight colors that I go to. It is a little bit pricier, but Goldwell is so worth it. It works so well, you guys. If you've never tried Colorants, you got to give it a try. If you never tried OxyCure the Lightener, give it a try. If you've never tried Top Sheet Permanent Color by Goldwell, give it a try. None of these are disappointing, and you will love them. Trust me when I tell you. For Colorants, it's one to two, one part color, two parts developer. I never do one to two unless it's like a level 10 toner. I don't want it to be too strong. Um, I always use one to one. I find it gives better coverage. Retcon Shades EQ is a lot more translucent. Goldwell Colorants is a lot more opaque. So if you're looking for something that really sticks and really covers and holds on well, Goldwell Colorants will be the one to go to. If you're looking for something that's very glossy, shiny, fades out beautifully, easy to kick out in the future, then Retcon and Shazy Q is your go-to. I have a specific video coming for you guys with a Wreck and Shazy Q breakdown. I've been promising this video for at least eight months now and it's almost done. I've been working on it. It breaks down the chemistry, everything you need to know about Wreck and Shazy Q, the do's, the don'ts, the myths, are they true, are they false, everything and anything you need to know. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and that interests you, definitely do so because it's coming in the next few weeks. I promise you guys it's a breakdown video and I go over everything from start to finish. So I didn't really want to dabble too far into that with formulas or anything because I'm saving it for that video. So I hope this quick video showed you guys um, a quick haul on how I spent $400. My favorite go-to colors for Colorants and the difference between Colorants and Wreck and Shades EQ. Just to help you understand it a little bit better depending on the look you're trying to achieve. Alright guys, I love you all so very, very much. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, as always, so long for now guys. Mwah.